Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. For the weekend that ended on July 7th, 2024, it was yet another very good weekend at the domestic box office thanks once again to Disney Pixar's animated movie Inside Out 2, as well as another new movie that opened in theaters at number one, Illumination Entertainment's animated sequel entitled Despicable Me 4. And thanks to those two movies and the other three movies that make up this weekend's top five movies, their cumulative domestic box office total for this weekend is $139.3 million, which is slightly better than last weekend's similar cumulative domestic box office total of $137.2 million. And two of this weekend's top five movies at the domestic box office premiered this weekend. But before proceeding, I'd like to ask everyone to please like this video, please share the video on social media, please subscribe to support this channel, and please press the bell to receive notifications. Thanks! And just FYI, I apologize if you hear any static in the background that may be coming from my air conditioner. No changes occurred this weekend with this year's current top three highest grossing movies both domestically and worldwide, but it's probably going to change again very soon. The highest grossing movie so far this year, both domestically and globally, remains Disney Pixar's animated movie entitled Inside Out 2. And it earned another $30 million this weekend and another $35 million during the week to bring its current domestic box office total up to $533.8 million, making it the first movie in 2024 to break $500 million domestically, as I expected it would. And it will undoubtedly break $600 million domestically very soon. Internationally, the movie earned another $137.6 million to bring its current international box office total up to $683.1 million. So globally, Inside Out 2 earned another $202.1 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $1,216.9 million, and it remains the only movie so far this year to break $1 billion globally. In terms of estimated break-even points, Inside Out 2 has a reported production budget of $200 million, which, when multiplied by 2.5 and 3.0 respectively, to account for the 50% of gross box office ticket sales that movie theaters keep for themselves, as well as the additional costs of marketing the movie and other miscellaneous costs that the studio pays above and beyond the production budget, yields an estimated break-even point range of $500 million to $600 million. Thus, Inside Out 2 has most definitely made bank, and I'll be projecting its possible final domestic and global gross box office earnings later in the video. As for Dune Part 2, it currently remains the second highest grossing movie both domestically and worldwide, with final domestic earnings of $282.1 million and a final global gross box office total of $711.8 million. With a production budget of $190 million, when multiplied by 2.5 and 3.0 respectively, we get an estimated break-even point range of $475 million to $570 million. So the movie most definitely made bank. And Godzilla x Kong The New Empire remains the third highest grossing movie both domestically and worldwide. With no new box office earnings reported this weekend, its final domestic box office total remains at $196.4 million, while its current global gross box office total remains at $569.9 million. With its reported production budget of $135 million, when multiplied by 2.5 and 3.0 respectively, we get an estimated break-even point ranging from $337.5 million to $405 million. Thus, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire also made bank. So this weekend's top five movies at the domestic box office included the following. Illumination Entertainment's animated sequel, Despicable Me 4, opened at number one. Disney Pixar's animated movie Inside Out 2 fell to number two. Paramount Pictures sci-fi horror movie A Quiet Place Day 1 fell to number three. A24's crime horror movie Maxine opened at number four. And rounding out the top five was Sony and Columbia Pictures movie Bad Boys Ride or Die, which fell to number five. Despicable Me 4 opened with a very good domestic box office haul of $122.6 million, which is lower than the domestic opening weekend box office that Inside Out 2 earned when it opened three weeks ago. Internationally, the movie opened with $106.9 million for a global gross opening weekend box office total of $229.6 million. 
And since I already talked about the box office for Inside Out 2, I'll go to A Quiet Place Day 1, which earned another $21 million domestically to bring its current domestic box office total up to $94.4 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $38.3 million to bring its current international box office total up to $83.8 million. So globally, the movie earned another $79.7 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $178.2 million. Maxine opened with $6.7 million domestically and $1.1 million internationally for a global gross opening weekend box office total of $7.8 million. Bad Boys Ride or Die earned another $6.6 .6 million to bring its current domestic box office total up to $177.4 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $16.1 million to bring its current international box office total up to $182.8 million. Thus, globally, the movie earned another $28.2 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $360.2 million. I'm also continuing to track several other movies that are no longer in the top five, which includes the following. New Line Cinema's Old West drama Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, starring Kevin Costner, fell to number six. Regency and Tri-State Pictures movie The Bike Riders fell to number 9. Universal Pictures movie The Fall Guy rose to number 11. Disney and 20th Century Fox's sci-fi movie sequel Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes fell to number 13. Columbia Pictures' The Garfield movie fell to number 14. And finally, as of this week, Paramount Pictures' animated-slash-live-action fantasy comedy entitled If dropped to number 15. So Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1 earned another $5.5 million domestically during the weekend and $5.6 million during the week to bring its current domestic box office total up to $22.2 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $1 million to bring its current international box office total up to $1.1 million. So globally, the movie earned another $12.2 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $23.3 million. The Bike Riders earned another $1.3 million domestically during the weekend and $1.8 million during the week to bring its current domestic box office total up to $19.3 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $2.7 million to bring its current international box office total up to $10.2 million. So globally, the movie earned another $5.8 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $29.5 million. Domestically, The Fall Guy earned another $820,000 to bring its current domestic box office total up to $92.1 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $601,000 to bring its current international box office total up to $83.7 million. So globally, the movie earned another $1.8 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $175.8 million. Domestically, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes earned another $638,000 to bring its current domestic box office total up to $169.6 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $2.1 million to bring its current international box office total up to $221.4 million. So globally, the movie earned another $3.7 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $391 million. The Garfield movie earned another $510,000 domestically to bring its current domestic box office total up to $91.1 million. Internationally, the movie earned another $3.5 million to bring its current international box office total up to $153.8 million. So globally, the movie earned another $4.9 million to bring its current global gross box office total up to $244.9 million. Domestically, the movie entitled If earned another $315,000 to bring its current domestic box office total up to $110.8 million. Internationally, no new box office was reported this week, so the movie's international box office total remains at $74.7 million. So globally, the movie's current global gross box office total rose to $185.5 million. Now, to know whether these movies are going to break even or not, as well as how much money they might be losing, we need to look at their production budgets, which we can then multiply by 2.5 for a single mid-range estimated break-even point, or by both 2.5 and 3.0 for a broader estimated break-even point range. For Despicable Me 4, with its reported production budget of $100 million, that yields an estimated break-even point range of $250 million to $300 million. For A Quiet Place Day 1, with its reported production budget of $67 million, that yields an estimated break-even point range of $167.5 million to $201 million. 
For Bad Boys Ride or Die, with its reported high production budget of $100 million, that yields an estimated break-even point range of $250 million to $300 million. For Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, with its reported production budget of $50 million, that yields an estimated break-even point range of $125 million to $150 million. For The Bike Riders, with its reported moderately high production budget of $40 million, yields an estimated mid-range break-even point of $100 million. For The Fall Guy, with its $125 million production budget, we get an estimated mid-range break-even point of $312.5 million. For Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, with its even higher $165 million production budget, we get an estimated break-even point range of $412.5 million to $495 million. For the Garfield movie, with its $60 million production budget, that yields an estimated break-even point range of $150 million to $180 million. For the movie entitled If, with its very high $110 million production budget, we get an estimated break-even point range of $275 million to $330 million. In this video, I am no longer projecting what the final domestic or global gross box office earnings might be for the movies The Fall Guy, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, The Garfield Movie, and If, because their expected future earnings are currently too small or possibly non-existent. For The Fall Guy, with its current global gross box office revenue of $175.8 million and its estimated mid-range break-even point of $312.5 million, the movie currently stands to lose around $136.7 million in global gross box office revenue. For Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, with its current global gross box office revenue of $391 million and its estimated break-even point range of $412.5 million to $495 million, the movie currently stands to lose between $21.5 million to $98.6 million in global gross box office revenue. For the Garfield movie, with its current global gross box office revenue of $244.9 million and its estimated break-even point range of $150 million to $180 million, the movie has made bank. For the movie entitled If, with its current global gross box office revenue of $185.5 million and its estimated break-even point range of $275 million to $330 million, the movie currently stands to lose around $89.5 million to $144.5 million in global gross box office revenue. Then by dividing the global gross box office revenue losses by two to account for the 50% of gross box office ticket sales that movie theaters keep for themselves, the affected studios currently stand to lose the following. For The Fall Guy, Universal Pictures currently stands to lose around $68.4 million. For Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Disney and 20th Century Fox currently stand to lose around $10.7 million to $49.3 million. And for the movie entitled If, Paramount Pictures currently stands to lose around $44.8 million to $72.3 million. And that now brings us to the movies whose final domestic and global gross box office revenues I am currently projecting, which includes Despicable Me 4, Inside Out 2, A Quiet Place Day 1, Bad Boys Ride or Die, Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, and The Bike Riders. Now, as for the movie Despicable Me 4, given that it's actually the sixth movie in a franchise that began in 2010, I can use box office data from the franchise's previous five movies to calculate a franchise average weekly drop of only 27.18%, which is very good. And using the related standard deviation of 4.94%, I can create a statistically defined range of possible average weekly drops for Despicable Me 4 that's one standard deviation above and below the franchise average, which gives me a range from 22.24% to 32.13%. And using that range, I can project that the final domestic box office for the movie may range from $381.3 million at the low end, $449.6 million at the mid-range, and $545.5 million at the upper end. So the movie's final domestic box office by itself may be sufficient for the movie to break even before even taking the international box office into account. But naturally, I'll also be projecting the movie's possible final global gross box office by using its current domestic share of 53.42%, which is actually more than two standard deviations above the franchise average domestic share of 35.64%. 
And using that 53.42% domestic share, I can project that the final global gross box office earnings for the movie may range from $713.9 million at the low end, $841.8 million at the mid-range, and $1,021.2 million at the upper end, which strongly suggests that Despicable Me 4 is also likely going to outperform Dune Part 2 and become 2024's second highest grossing movie behind Inside Out 2 in around four to five weeks. So the movie is most definitely going to make bank. For Inside Out 2, assuming a range of possible average weekly draws from 30 to 40 percent, I can project that the final domestic box office for the movie may range from $630.3 million at the low end, $653.1 million at the mid-range, and $683.1 million at the upper end, which is lower than last week's projection. Then by using the movie's current domestic share of 43.87%, which is lower than last week's, I can project that the movie's final global gross box office earnings may range from $1,437,000,000 at the low end, $1,489,000,000 at the mid-range, and $1,557,000,000 at the upper end, which is more narrow than last week's projection and also moved slightly upwards, increasing the likelihood that the movie has the potential to outperform last year's highest grossing movie, Barbie, and it's $1,432,000,000. For A Quiet Place Day 1, assuming a range of possible average weekly drops from 30 to 40 percent, I can project that the final domestic box office for the movie may range from $157.6 million at the low end, $172.6 million at the mid-range, and $192.4 million at the upper end, which is a higher projection than last week's. Then by using the movie's current domestic share of 52.96%, which is slightly lower than last week's, I can project that the final global gross box office for the movie may range from $297.5 million at the low end, $325.8 million at the mid-range, and $363.3 million at the upper end, which is a higher projection than last week's. And given the movie's current global gross box office of $178.2 million, it has already surpassed its mid-range estimated break-even point and is well on its way to making bank. For Bad Boys Ride or Die, assuming a range of possible average weekly draws from 30 to 40 percent, I can project that the final domestic box office for the movie may range from $195.5 million at the low end, $199.7 million at the mid-range, and $205.3 million at the upper end, which is a more narrow range than last week's projection. And with the movie's current domestic share of 49.24%, I can project that the final global gross box office for the movie may range from $397 million at the low end, $405.6 million at the mid-range, and $416.9 million at the upper end, which is also a more narrow range than last week's projection. But with the movie's current earnings of $360.2 million, the movie has already made bank. Now, as for Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, the movie has finally earned enough money from overseas, allowing me to project what its final global gross box office might be, in addition to what its final domestic box office revenue might be. So, assuming a range of possible average weekly draws from 30 to 40 percent, I can project that the movie's final domestic box office revenue may range from $38.9 million at the low end, $42.9 million at the mid range, and $48.1 million at the upper end, which is a higher range than last week's projection. Then by using the movie's current domestic share of 95.42%, and no, I'm not kidding, I can project that the final global gross box office for the movie may range from $40.8 million at the low end, $44.9 million at the mid-range, and $50.4 million at the upper end, which is nowhere near the movie's estimated break-even point range of $125 million to $150 million. Based on what the movie's current projections are for its possible final domestic box office earnings, in order for this movie to have a chance of breaking even, it will need a domestic share on the order of 25.9% to 34.3%, which I believe remains incredibly unlikely given how high the movie's current domestic share is. Thus, Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1 is a bona fide flop unless it begins to miraculously earn a hell of a lot more international box office revenue. And finally, for the bike riders, assuming a range of possible average weekly draws from 30 to 40 percent, I can project that the final domestic box office for the movie may range from $24 million at the low end, $25.1 million at the mid-range, and $26.6 million at the upper end, which is lower than last week's projection. 
And with its current domestic share of 65.54%, which is lower than last week's, I could project that its final global gross box office may only range from $36.6 million at the low end, $38.3 million at the mid-range, and $40.6 million at the upper end, which is also lower than last week's projection and remains nowhere near the movie's estimated mid-range break-even point of $100 million. So as with Kevin Cosner's Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, unless the bike riders begins to miraculously earn a hell of a lot more money from international movie markets, it's also a definite flop and is currently looking to lose around $59.4 million to $63.4 million in global gross box office revenue, which when divided by two to account for the 50% of gross box office ticket sales that movie theaters keep for themselves means that Regency and Tri-State Pictures currently stand to lose around $29.7 million to $31.7 million. Dollars. Thus, Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1, If, The Fall Guy, and The Bike Riders all remain definite flops, while Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes remains a probable flop. But Inside Out 2, Bad Boys Ride or Die, The Garfield Movie, Dune Part 2, and Godzilla x Kong The New Empire have all made bank, while Despicable Me 4 and A Quiet Place Day 1 are well on their way to making bank. Thanks for watching today, and a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Outloud Geek.